Hi everyone, it's Julie from SproutsAndStems.com here. Today's video is going to be prayer plant or Maranta propagation. So before we get into the video, please take two seconds to, to go boop to the subscribe button so that you don't miss any new planty content from me. And if you'd like to further support my channel, join my Patreon or my YouTube membership for exclusive content and more perks. Both are linked in the description, or you can hit the join button below this video. Similar perks, just different platforms. My next exclusive video will be a little show and tell for a new philodendron that I recently got. So now we'll get into prayer plant propagation. It's five o'clock, 5 p.m. I'm having iced coffee and I just took a nap because I got a horrible night's sleep last night and I just felt terrible all day. But now I'm probably not going to sleep at all tonight, so. But that's okay because it's Friday. Prayer plant propagation. I've gotten a lot of questions just over the years throughout Sprouts and Stems lifetime about prayer plant propagation because the nodes are a little bit tricky to find if you're new to prayer plants. Now prayer plants do eventually turn into vines that kind of grow like spreading out um but the leaves are like weird looking it's it's not as obvious as like a, a pothos or something where you can clearly see each node on the stem so it totally makes sense like why it's a little bit confusing at first if you've already watched some of my other propagation videos you know that the odious first cover the nodes the first little section of the video is about that so Feel free to skip ahead if you already know that. The nodes are the key to propagation. The nodes are where new growth comes from on a plant. And they are essential to propagation because new growth means roots. It also means aerial roots, other branches of the stem, leaves, but we need new roots to grow on the cutting. So a node is essential to include on the part that gets cut off the plant. Now, because we know that nodes are the growth points where things grow out of, we can use that to find one. Now this plant is still kind of, it's very nice and full, but it's still short. So I don't have many options here, but we do have some. Let me remove this plastic tray but you just want to look for anywhere that a stem meets another stem. And there's also kind of like a bump usually. Here is a good example. These, both of those bumps, this one and this one are nodes. And this is the leaf slash short stem that belongs to them. And there's another leaf coming out right there. But you can see those bumps. And here is another one. And I'm trying to find more examples, but it's hard to be honest. There's a few more that you might be able to see down there. This one right there. So the key, and I'm gonna show you exactly where to make the cut, so don't worry. You wanna try to find a stem that is a little bit longer than just one leaf because the leaf attaches to a petiole, which is a little, a little mini stem, a leaf stem that attaches then to the main stem. So if you just take like a small piece of the main stem and then the petiole with just that like one node, it's gonna be a really tiny cutting and chances are not much is gonna grow from it. Start at a leaf and then go down the petiole, the little leaf stem, and then to that first node, and then go to the next node after that. And that'll give you a nice 
good, healthy chunk of stem to propagate. You want to cut below a node. So you'd cut right there, actually. Let me see. You would cut right there, right where my toothpick is. Other than that, it's like propagating any vining plant. You just have to know where to cut and then that's basically it. Now that you have the cutting, you can stick that either in water or moist soil. I prefer water propagation because I like to see the progress of the roots and prayer plants do propagate very easily in water. And place that in medium to bright and direct light. Make sure the node is under the surface of whatever you're propagating in, so underwater or planted in the soil. If you're doing water propagation, make sure to top off the water level as needed because it'll evaporate. If you're doing soil propagation, make sure to always keep it lightly moist as the roots are developing. And within a few weeks, usually within the first week or so, you'll start to see little roots growing in the water. But if it takes longer than a week, that's fine too. It'll it varies based off of many factors, so have a little patience, but within a few weeks you'll start to see roots growing or they just will grow if it's in soil because you won't see it. <laughs> but then once you start to see like new growth on the plant itself, you can, if you want, kind of give it just like a little gentle, gentle tug in the soil and see if there is resistance and then you'll know that a root system has developed but you don't even need to do that. If the plant is growing, then you're good to go and you can commence uh, appropriate care onwards going forward. And then for water, once the roots reach two to three inches long, you can pot it up into a small pot and then continue caring for your plant going forward. And that's it. So speaking of care, I will have a care guide next week so stay tuned for that. Let me know if you have any questions. Stay tuned for my care guide. I'll be doing a care guide for prayer plants. And then the week after that will probably be my spring plant tour. And hopefully by then I'll have all my plants outside on my balcony. So I'll have like a very, a very new and fresh setup from what you've seen from the past few plant tours. So thanks for watching today. Remember to please subscribe to my channel and check out my YouTube membership or Patreon for more planty content and perks. And I will see you all next week. Bye.